Why does Mattel change their castings? On today's Race Grooves presentation. I've done a couple of videos where Hot Wheels has changed their casting. I'll link those at the end of the video as well as down in the description. This video is really going to focus on Matchbox though. The Blizzard Buster went through a casting change. Can you tell? In my recent case unboxing video for the Dodge Charger Pursuit, some people noticed that the casting had changed. Something was changed in the way that this model was being presented. I showed you the yellow version of Nerve Hammer because it's one that's currently available in stores middle of 2014. This blue version I already opened up before and I have not talked about the casting change. This blue version is the same casting as the yellow version. Here is the older version of Nerve Hammer and that one's different. Now, we don't know exactly why Mattel makes changes, but there's been other situations where Mattel has explained why they had to make the change. Can you see the difference between the blue and the red nerve hammer? I didn't notice minor details, but the main change was in the spoiler. You look at the back of the car, you see how the body is blue, just like the spoiler wing on the back? The spoiler wing is blue, but the other one, look, the, the spoiler does not match the car. Nerve Hammer used to have a separate spoiler that was popped in. So the body could be one color and the spoiler could be another. Now, the spoiler is molded in with the body. It's all one piece. This was two pieces. In the past with other castings, Mattel has said that sometimes they have to do things to cut production costs. When they make 50, 100, 200,000 cars, these little changes can save them a lot of money. Because now they don't have to pay somebody to pop that piece in. A hundred, can you imagine a hundred thousand cars? They got to, somebody's got to pop this piece in there. That's a lot of time. And it's kind of hard to put on their hands, I'm sure. So this is a Hot Wheels example. And like I said, I will have links in the description of other times where I have talked about Hot Wheels casting changes. With the Matchbox Blizzard Buster, it went through a casting change. The one on the left is the older version. The one on the right is a newer version. I'm sure it's kind of hard to tell in the package like that. I'm going to use this sample of an older version. And actually this sample is an older version as well. I'll go ahead and crack open this one here. Maybe you can see the difference while I'm opening it up. Blizzard Buster. I'm sure some kids like it. Especially if you're in a snow region, you probably would be more inclined to like this. It has four small wheels. It does roll. Well, maybe not. <laughs> This one rolls better. This one, mm, too low. So I'm going to use the yellow one so we have a color contrast. That's the older version. Now we have the newer version. Let me zoom in. Now Mattel didn't announce anything about the casting change. It just kind of popped up. Why did this one change? Don't know. But if you look at the pipe or the... This looks like a hydraulic part right here. Maybe this is a hydraulic to get this to dump out, open the door or something. I don't I don't know really what that part is there but this part here is metal It's part of the body you can see yellow underneath where it's painted can you see the yellow in between there so all of this from up is metal this one the part that's right there they didn't even, it doesn't even look like a hydraulic part anymore it's just kind of a piece of plastic but hey is that oh that shovels on one side threw me for a loop right there I should put them the same way, so this way it's not confusing. So see, this time, now they change it, the, this part is part of the base. This is all plastic. Now, may, I, I can't imagine that they changed, took off this, retooled it, just to get rid of this little piece of metal. I'd assume that it, it would just make it, they might have made this change to make the part easier to put together. Sometimes they have too many parts. And it makes it complicated for them to put the models together. So sometimes they make casting changes, uh, not necessarily to save weight. There has been changes where they change it from metal to plastic, and that's strictly to save weight. In this case, I can't imagine it to be save weight. It's just a, such a small piece of metal that you go through the whole thing of making a new tool. I suspect that this is a situation where they made the change to make it easier to put together. 
Now for the Dodge Charger Pursuit. Some viewers noticed in my Matchbox case unboxing video that this is the older version. They noticed the new 2014 version had a change. We'll go ahead and crack that one open. There you go. Here's a older release. Uh, it has 60th anniversary on the car. So I, just, I think that's 2013. And what I like about uh, police cars is I like light bars and push bars. So you have your light bar and your push bar. It's kind of hard to see. Push bars are the same. The light bars are a different color. That's not quite it. I don't know. It still has a. It still has the side view mirrors. Let's look at the back. Mm, nothing. No change to the body. The change is to the light bar. You can tell the light bar. The older version, red windows, clear. Now with the new version, clear light bar, and it matches the windows. And the reason why it matches the windows is that it's no longer an insert. This piece right here is separate. They insert it so that we can get two different colors. Let me let me bring this up close so you can tell the difference. The light bar has changed in the shape, but like I said, the one, red one is an insert. You can see, look how it hangs over the body right here. But the one on the left, it's part of the interior. It looks like it's part of the interior. I'm not gonna drill it apart to find out, but because the opening for this part here is just like the part that's popping up, I suspect that this is all one piece. Light bar, windows, and I give a shout out to those people who pointed it out. On older releases, you can kind of push this down and it would bend and you can tell for sure. But in looking in there, it looks like it's all one piece. For me, it doesn't matter if it's a separate piece or one piece. I just like that light bar sticking up, okay? It makes it a police car. You can't, I don't like it when they just paint a car and then put sheriff's paper or police decos on the side and make it a police car. Police cars have light bars, and a lot of times they have push bars. Let me go ahead and give you, while I wrap it up, let me give you some samples of some models that had separate light bars. And you can tell because it's different than the color of the windows, right? Here we have the Dodge Monaco. I'll, I'll have the uh, complete names of the castings in the description. Here we have a Lamborghini Gallardo. Actually, this one is not separate, right? This one's the same piece. The opening is the same size as the light bar. Can you push it down? Yeah, a little hard. Same color, so it's one piece. Here you have the Chevy Suburban, separate color, so that's a separate piece. So as as these castings kind of change, we might start start losing these separate pieces. This one here, separate color, so that's a separate piece. That's the uh, Subaru Impreza WRX. Up next, let me show you a Crown Vic. That's the nickname. Crown Victoria. I like this one. It's kind of nice. It does have a push bar in the front. Magnum did not. Sorry, WRX. What happened to the Magnum? Oh, Magnum's coming up. Got him out of order. Here we go. Separate color. Here you have the Dodge Magnum. Separate color for the windows and the inserted light bar. No push bar. This guy is really just a support vehicle. That's for the boss. Now we'll just look real quick. There you go. Push bar. Uh, no push bar. That's just for racing and catching people. No push bar. Oh no. And probably my favorite Matchbox police car. Anyways, so uh, to sum it up, the reason why Mattel and other companies, it's not just Mattel, the reason why they change things, sometimes they got to cut costs, mainly, sometimes it's because of shipping, maybe they want to make things into, have more plastic parts or more metal parts, I, I mean, uh, more plastic, I should say, sometimes it's that they make a change just to make it easier to put together. Hey, thanks for watching, have fun collecting, bye-bye.